Welcome all. Myself, Dr. Johnson, M3, Structural Engineering and Construction Management, SNIT, Adu. Structural Design of Foundation is a topic on soil structure interaction problems. It is a part of structure which transfers the load of the structure to the subsoil. It can be divided into two types, shallow foundation and deep foundation. The choice of particular type of foundation depends on magnitude of loads, nature of the subsoil strata, nature of soil structure and specific requirements. Soil. Soils are complex mixtures of minerals, water, air, organic matter and countless organisms that are the decaying remains of once living things. It forms at the surface of lands, also called as skin of the earth. The bearing capacity of the soil is the maximum average contact pressure between the foundation and the soil, which should not produce shear failure in the soil. Earthquake ground motion resides primarily from the three factors. So it's characteristics, propagation path of waves, and local site conditions. Ground motions that are not influenced by the presence of structure are referred as pre-fill motions. Structures founded on rock are considered as fixed base structures. When a structure founded on solid rock is subjected to an earthquake, the extremely high stiffness of the rock constrains the rock motion to be very close to the free field motion. Soil structure interaction. It is the interaction between ground and structure built upon it. Exchange of mutual stresses. This is especially applicable to areas of seismic activity. Simply, it is a process in which the response of the soil influences the motion of the structure and the motion of the structure influences the response of soil. In order to understand the SSI problem properly, it is necessary to have some information of the earthquake wave propagation through the soil medium for two main reasons. Firstly, when the seismic waves propagates through the soil as an input ground motion, their dynamic characteristics depends on the modification of the bedrock portion. Secondly, the knowledge of the vibration characteristics of the soil medium is very helpful in determining the soil impedance functions and fixing the boundaries for a semi-infinite soil medium when the wave propagation analysis is performed by using numerical techniques. This is the physics soil, soil seismic soil structure interaction. Degree of influence of SSI. It is it depends on the following factors: stiffness of the soil. Dynamic characteristics of structure itself, that is natural period and dynamic factor, then stiffness and mass of structure. Interaction between ground and structure during earthquake. When the seismic wave E0, generated by an earthquake fault, reaches the bottom of the foundation, they are divided into two waves. Transmission waves as represented as E1 and reflection waves as represented as F0. When the transmission wave enters into a building, they travel in upward direction due to which the structure subject to vibration. And then they are reflected at the top and travel back down to the foundation of the structure shown as F1. At this stage, soil structure interaction phenomenon takes place. Again, part of wave are transmitted into the ground while the rest is reflected back again and starts to move upward through the structure shown as F2. The wave which are transmitted to the ground known as radiation waves shown as R1. Basically, the dynamic soil structure interaction consists of two interactions, namely kinematic interaction and inertial interaction. First one, kinematic interaction. The soil structure interaction effect which is associated with the stiffness of the structure is termed as kinematic interaction. The massless mud foundation restricts the vertical motion of the ground motion because of its flexural stiffness. This is the figure showing kinematic interaction. The toe effect derived by Clough and Pinsin explains the kinematic interaction due to translational excitation with reference to the rigid slab. In figure, the shear wave moving in the y direction produces 
ground motion in the x direction which varies with y at the site of slab where the field earthquake motion varies significantly due to the rigidity of slab these motions are constrained to some extent second one is inertial interaction and foundation causes them to respond dynamically. The SSI effect which is associated with the mass of the structure is termed as inertial interaction. It is purely caused by the inertia forces generated in the structure due to the movement of masses of the structure during vibration. The inertia loads applied to the structure lead to an overturning moment and transverse shear. If the supporting soil is compliant, the inertial force transmits dynamic forces to the foundation causing its dynamic displacement that would not occur in case of a fixed base structure. Motion due to inertial interaction can be computed from the equation of motion. This is the figure showing inertial interaction analysis. Soil structure interaction can be solved by these two methods, direct method and soil structure method. First one, direct method. In the direct method, the soil structure and foundation is molded together using finite element method and analyzed in single step. The ground motion is specified as free field motion and is applied at all boundaries. This is a figure showing finite element method of soil structure system for direct method of analysis. In the figure, the soil is modeled as an assemblage of rectangular plane strain elements having two translation degrees of freedom at each node while the structure is modeled as an assemblage of beam elements. Second one is substructure method. This method is computationally more efficient than the direct method. In this method, the effective input motion is expressed in terms of free field motions of the soil layer initially. Substructure method is advantageous as it allows to break down the complicated soil structure system into more manageable parts which can be more easily solved and checked. In case of soil or foundation medium, modeling of some structures, a portion of the soil may be included in the superstructure. This is the figure showing seismic soil structure interaction with the substructure method. SSI problem solving in the Abaka software which is done. Step. First one is part module. Form the geometry of the structure and soil. Second one, property module. Generating the property of the structure and soil. Third one, assembly module. Assembly of the structure and soil into common platform. Fourth one, step module. Define the analysis type. Fifth one, interaction module. Define the interaction between the structure and soil medium. Sixth, boundary condition. Module. Define the boundary condition in the structure. 7. Mesh module. Meshing of the structure and soil. 8. Job module. Submission of the job for the analysis. And the last step is visualization module. Viewing the result. This is the problem. Analyze the frame by two methods that is, uh, direct method and substructure method. The frame is supported by two isolated footings having properties as mentioned below. Properties of structure under material properties of structure under properties of soil under. Now, the problem we are going to find the time history of related acceleration and rotational acceleration at the top floor of the given frame. First, we are going to direct the direct the first step is the modeling of structure geometry. First structure is modeled with the beam elements and soil is modeled with the plane strain elements. Mesh size for beam elements is 1 meter and for plane strain element is 3 meter by 3 meter. This is the Abacus model of structure and with the soil figure. Second step is the soil structure interaction and support condition. That is the support condition. We will fix the fixed Third step. Analysis of structure and result. Now, we have a software in the graph by the result. This is a figure showing relative acceleration time history at the top floor of frame. And this is the figure rotational acceleration time history at the top floor of frame. Substructure method. This is the time history at the bedrock 
level is converted to the time history at the foundation level by kinematic interaction analysis. Then, massless structure is modeled along with soil and time history analysis is carried out by applying the time history at the bedrock level. This is the figure showing time history after performing kinematic interaction analysis. Modeling of structure. Support conditions are modeled by spring constants and values of spring constants are considered. Time history analysis is carried out for the structure using modified time history obtained in step 1. This procedure is called as inertial interaction analysis. This is the figure of model of structure only with spring supports. The result in the Kabaka software in the Vitiana, relative acceleration time history at top floor of tree. This is rotational acceleration time history at top floor of tree. Thank you.